Hi guys, Bacchus Bruce got the 2018 Floradori Teraldigo. This is a special wine, guys, and uh, really love the opportunity to, to talk about this wine. Uh, Elisabetta uh, Foradori is uh, one of those uh, winemakers and uh, and people in the wine world that, that are really legendary. I mean, her story is fantastic. I'll go into it a little bit on the Instagram page. But she's doing everything right, and she really feels uh, a lot of uh, a passion about the soil and the land and the interconnection of, uh, of, of different uh, plants and vines and uh, it just goes on and on. So uh, this is a, a Teraldigo that uh, is kind of on the entry level of her wines. Uh, the single vineyard stuff is even more interesting. Uh, but she is loved in the natural wine world as well. She does spontaneous fermentation. Uh, she does... Uh, uh, no uh, filtering, no fining. Uh, she is using sulfites, uh, which I guess is maybe a no-no, but uh, what are you going to do? How are you going to falter for doing that? So um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the wine here on the nose. So the wine's really compelling on the nose. It's It's got raspberry, it's got black tea, uh, licorice, a little bit of fennel. Uh, you could keep swirling the glass and, and you could probably come up with a dozen different descriptors yourself. It's just one of those kind of wines that just has so much to say. Biodynamic fruit really, really creates lovely berries and lovely wines. So let's check out the palette. So the wine is lovely. It's medium bodied. Uh, not overly tannic by any means. There is a little bit of chalkiness on the tannin, but uh, it's really a wine that I call kind of a, an expressive wine that uh, really speaks to you. And you just kind of need to listen. I'm getting a, a little bit of rhubarb, a little bit of red berry, uh, also some kind of tar and smoke notes uh, from uh, the soil. Uh, but the barrel influence is, is really minimal, and it's just a wine that's fairly transparent. I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say because the wine is just one of those kind of cerebral sort of experiences. And you need to make sure you try a Teraldigo from uh, Elisabetta because it's one of those things that you should check off on your bucket list in life. It's that good. So 2018 uh, Foradori Teraldigo coming out of the Dolomite region of northern Italy. See you in the tasting room.